All right, guys, whenever you're ready, um, give us a countdown and best of luck on the run. Oh, boy. Hi, everybody. Oh. Welcome to Mega Man 8. Um, I guess we should get going then. This show yeah. on schedule, right? Yeah, let's keep uh, going. Uh, so I'm Mr. Cab. We've got KLM here to help me talk about this wonderful game you're about. Now, I think he's about to even give me a countdown. I have the distinct honor of doing the official countdown uh, for Mr. Cab here. So, without further ado, uh, Mr. Cab, are you ready? Dot ready. Are you guys ready in chat? I'm going to take uh, that as a yes. I don't know if they know how to use IRC. <laughs> All right. Well, Mr. Cab, in uh, three, two, one, go. All right. We're Good beginning. Luck, and we are skipping cutscenes today. I'm sorry if you were looking forward to that. <laughs> ready. So... Uh, this is Mega Man 8, uh, originally released in the PlayStation 1 sometime around 97, 98. That palm tree needs to get out of my way, and now I'm sad. Uh, traditionally, uh, you would be playing this game actually on a PlayStation 2 with the fast disk speed option enabled, but my PlayStation 2 the middle of this week decided it didn't really want to play this game without locking up a lot. So welcome to the Legacy Collection 2 edition, right, where the text now. boxes get to scroll. Yeah, so if you see this on the, the version you usually play on, these text boxes, you, you, you can't even read what they say, honestly. So, um, yeah, you just match right through them. Yeah. So, uh, Rush, arguably, this is the best version of Rush in any classic Mega Man game because he gives you this awesome weapon. Uh, weapon slash utility, I guess. Um, it does a little bit of both. So um, we'll be seeing this pretty much the entire run. Um, I figured someone was going to say Mega Man 3 too, but this rush jet is even better than Mega Man 3. We'll see that a little bit later too. Oh yeah. Uh, so we're going to get to the first boss here. Uh, we got Mr. Cab versus Mr. Crab. Oh no! Uh, my bet is on... Uh, I don't know. I guess I'll go with Mr. Cab. Just for the sake of the, for the, sake of the run. It's going to be a close one. Oh. We didn't get the quick kill. Uh, there's like a tight window after the, you get a couple of hits in to just jump into his face and uh, kind of plant one more ball into his eyes. Uh, even with the shell down, and you're not supposed to be able to hit him. That will, well, yeah, you save about three seconds because then he doesn't cross the screen. I'm still mashing the buttons because I'm so, so used to playing this on the PlayStation 1. <laughs> And uh, as we can see in this game, we get the automatic reveal that Wily's behind everything. Um, so we don't get that uh, 30 minute in, like, surprise, it's Wily again. This is right away, we're like, Wily's at it, let's go get him. Even though Wily wasn't in that opening movie that we skipped over, Wily <laughs> is here. <laughs> exactly. Look, like, this version of Rush even has, like, holographic, like, communication yeah. devices too well we, we did see that rush again though in Mega Man 9 as part of these these are all the times you got owned ending which is probably <laughs> one of the best true. endings in the very series. true that's right yeah so about let's that. talk a little more about the Mega Ball here for a second uh, the Mega Man 8 is actually the first game where uh, you can kind of use two weapons at once so we're immediately going to make use of that here and start having Mega Balls on the screen that we're just kicking along and uh, still using the buster a little bit. Yeah, so one thing good. is that uh, the Legacy Collection 2 version, if you're holding a charge, you can't use a special weapon while you're holding that charge. In the PlayStation 1 version, you'd use the special weapon and just lose the charge. So I have to kind of pay a little bit of attention to that with uh, my own Mario playstyles and hold the run button mentality. Yeah, it's actually uh, it's quite the difference, too. If you're used to holding that button down the entire time, you, know, you have to switch to not holding it down. Uh, it seems like a subtle difference, but uh, Mr. Cap's been running this game for quite a while now. Um, and switching over to this version just this week is a, a little bit of, a, uh, of an adjustment for sure. Yeah. Uh, so we have our first mid-boss. It has a name. Don't ask me what it is. Uh, we can call it Drill Man's Eye. I don't know, because we just don't want to see dives. We might see dives. The Eye of Drill Man, yeah. The Eye of Drill Man. It's like a Castlevania game here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so we can see him using the Mega Ball here in action. Um, we'll, we'll see it used more as a utility throughout the run, which is really cool. Uh, it essentially gives you uh, an extra jump in the air. I guess it's the best way to put it. Yep, uh, you can jump off of the Mega Ball. And you don't even have to be in the air to do it, but obviously we're interested in the double jump sort of mechanic. Right. 
And we're going to use that right away right here. Yeah, because there'll um, be some instances where he's sliding off of a ledge, not even jumping yet, and then he'll use the ball as he's sliding off the ledge to kind of get that first jump going. I want to keep talking about the rush, the, the mega ball, but we got to use the bike here. Uh, we, oh. The bosses give you rush utilities in this game, and we came here first because we got the bike. Uh, the bike doesn't really do anything special except go fast. And it looks really cool. It's another reason why this rush is the best rush. Look at it. I mean, oh, what other rush true. turns into a motorcycle? Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, I believe you get 40 seconds worth of rush bike when you activate it. Um, yep. And you lose five seconds each time you take damage. So uh, you don't lose any health, um, but it does come with a time penalty if you take some damage. So you want to try to avoid that at all costs. There's also like some back boosting that on the Legacy Collection 2, just like a tiny bit of HD lag. This isn't like Legacy Collection 1 in the NES games where it was like atrociously bad. Uh, but there's just enough that I don't want to do last second back boosts in the air. Uh, but that said, this is Grenade Man. This is the show we're here for. Grenade Man is my spirit animal before Impact Man was. Uh, so bosses in this game, your the life meters are 40 large instead of the usual NES 28 or so. 28, yeah. Yeah. Um, there's another thing too, is you can see that Mr. Cab is using uh, mostly half charge shots. Um, he actually, um, oh, and this is cool too, actually. This is like, I think the first robot master that does this, like changes the fight, like mid fight. Like you can see you like broke the floor down, you drop down this, um, you know, to the second level here. I thought that's pretty cool. But, um, but yeah, you'll see Mr. Cab using some half shots, half charge shots, which is really rare. Like usually the half charge shot is useless in Mega Man games because it does the same amount of damage as the single shot does. But in this one, you actually get more damage per shot, basically with the half charge shot. Uh, so it's actually worth it more to just use your half charges because you can get more off versus charging fully or even using like your basic buster, which is pretty cool. Just on that, the only thing I'll say is it's, it's not damage per shot, it's damage per time or per second. Uh, if the full charge yeah. still does that extra point of damage, but the amount of time it takes to use it is insane. Right. Uh, yeah. Mega Ball, again, is just like a great weapon. Besides being a utility weapon, it is basically taking these enemies out like in one right, shot. Yeah, it's very powerful too. So this is... Uh, everybody's favorite auto scroller. We've all known this. Uh, this if you haven't game. seen Mega Man 8 before, uh, enjoy the meme that yeah, everybody's going to be talking about in chat. I think Konami developed the uh, for the section too. Well, the elevator section, anyways. Yeah, this is uh, oh. all right. Everybody in chat, get your get your jump, jump, slide, slides in there. It's everybody's favorite part. Let's see what it means. Just a second, if you've never seen this before. I don't even want to talk there. I don't know what our I don't know what our sync is, so I'm just gonna let it happen. <laughs> but you can see um, the game kind of alerts you when you're supposed to jump, when you're supposed to slide, to navigate the section here. Um, you know, it is an auto scroller, so uh, you know, Mr. Cab knows what is coming up here. Um, you can do these uh, little like swag uh, jumps with the Mega Ball here too. No, um, it doesn't really save any time or do anything special, but. Um, it's so easy to do that you can just kind of just the same doing this every once in a while. But you can also, uh, with that being said, if you accidentally miss a jump, miss a slide, and you're falling off the edge, you can use the Mega Ball to kind of just save yourself, keep yourself in air too. So it's the, it's the main reason why you want to keep it equipped on this screen, but um, you know, you'll see sometimes people use it. It's like a little so bit of a So we're going to get a bolt here, and this begins the swag section. I'm holding jump. Uh, so normally, the way the Mega Ball jump works, a lot of people, they see it and it's like, oh no, I have to like hit jump and everything else. No, you just have to be holding jump in the air and move into the Mega Ball. You've got like some number of frames to do it. It's more than five and less than like 20, I think. It's somewhere in that gap. Yeah. Uh, but just... that sled is moving fast enough, you don't even have to hold forward. You, it will just happen. Yeah. And honestly, like between 8 and 16 frames or whatever it is, like that... Uh, it, it, it doesn't seem like a lot of time, but it, it's quite a bit of time. So it's essentially a free trick, yeah. So, uh, bike here. We're using the bike as we go through ice blocks. Don't know why, but the bike can go through ice blocks. Because Rush is the best boy, that's why. So there's a ball climb for you. That's uh, one of the many mega ball climbs we're going to see in this run. You've seen like a couple of like ladders that have been skipped with it. Yeah. In that case, we like just skipped an entire set of ladders. You yeah, know? Cool. there's there's some there are some screens coming up in later stages, which uh, you'll see. It's really cool. Like you skip pretty much like the entire section. It's really cool. Oh, we got another elevator section here. 
which I, I don't know why a lot of games went for that. It was, it's it's so boring. I guess we had to like I know how to get up getting up high enough to actually use this sled. Yeah. Uh, another cool thing about this stage too, as you can see, now it's nighttime, uh, where it was the daytime early. So this is what, it's taking Mega Man quite a long time to infiltrate uh, infiltrate this oh, stage oh. here. Did I just spawn like a bunch of spikes there or something? I feel like there's usually a ton more to like, <laughs> trying to skewer you at the end. It's just going too fast. Frostman is huge. Uh, that does mean these grenades are just going to keep him in iframes basically forever. He's also created all these beautiful sculptures Please. of Mega Man in his spare time. And, oh. he, uh, he's dedicated to practice. <laughs> you, usually you walk into the robot master room, they're just kind of like hanging out. This guy is like making practice dummies. Yeah, he, he's really, uh, he's really taking his job. Uh, yeah. But as uh, you can see, Mr. Cap did a single, a single buster shot when he entered the fight. Just to set this up, because if you, um, the, the grenade weapon does three points of damage, so it'll automatically leave him with one hit point left if you do the fight without it. So that's why you just start the fight with that initial shot, just to, to end it on the grenade there. Good fight. It was a good fight. Frostman, fortunately, is the size of a barn. So it's very easy to just like keep grenades on top of them the whole time. Obviously, you saw each grenade was connecting twice. So uh, it's fun. Tango Man stage, uh, kind of the knock on Mega Man 8 is there's a lot of auto scrollers. So this game, this stage does have the next one. Um, but we also get this nice wind. You see all those leaves going by in the background. Yeah, I stole this from uh, Mario 2 Japan or Lost Level, whatever you want to call it. But there's some scary up, uh, like ball jumps here. Um, yeah. At least they look a whole lot scarier. And this is another. Supposed to like ride a bubble up there. So that's one of the cooler um, sections to there with the ball. Um, you can see you just get that whole section with all the spikes and everything. Yep. Like there's a bubble. You're you're supposed to like you steer the bubble with the D-pad, no shooting or anything, and go up between all those spikes, which will obviously pop the bubble. Or you could just do that, and it's fun. Uh, part of the trick though is if you are not doing it right when you get to the top the wind will catch you you'll be pushed up against the wall and you can't go back and you have no room to ball jump and then you die and it's and you're sad i did forget to ask you about this too but um i'm pretty sure you do want b here is stupid the best. bird <laughs> you do want b he is the best you can get b eddie or auto here uh you do want to get there's a rush here. upgrade as well but uh oh, yeah. Yeah. And this is also the reason why this jet is better than Mega Man 3's jet. Look, if you don't have to jump on and off of it to save the energy, he just keeps going on forever. Yeah, infinite yeah. energy. Let's go. I was kind of liking Eddie here to like the missile upgrade in a Gradius game. He's just lobbing bombs down and forward for you. So that's part one of the stage. Almost every stage has two halves, especially for the Robot Masters. Uh, the second half of the stage, we actually only want uh, B. Uh, the game likes to give you like the helpers as it would be uh, based on your health, although there's a couple of scripted ones. Uh, and this one, the mid boss, uh, basically B does like a ton of damage and the others don't. Uh, and if yeah, you hold B it. right in front of you with by holding a charge, right? You just saw Beat just destroy half those birds. Yeah, and then especially the mid boss, it just basically just like melts him away. It's really cool, actually. Yeah, uh, Eddie's the next best one because those bombs are also really strong, but they don't hit quite as often. Like the frequency is not there. Uh, and after that, I think you just don't want anybody. So you, you don't want anybody else. Uh, auto shots are terrible, even though they look like they're giant missiles of destiny. Uh, oh, Rush's okay, damage yeah. is kind of meh. Rush's advantage yeah. is it's a three-way spread shot, which is really good for coverage, actually, against small enemies. But it also puts the mid-boss into iframes, so um, not what we wanted. And the ice wave is just a really good cool. weapon, as you're seeing as well. I was gonna, I was just gonna say that at some point. I want to talk about how awesome that weapon is. It's like Wave Man's weapon from Mega Man Five, but like. 500 it's what, times better. It's what I what uh you know Wave Man's weapon should have been. In fact, exactly. it is Ice Wave. 
they they had to uh fix it and do it right this time yeah it's a really fantastic weapon you'll see it a lot it basically just covers the entire floor and just takes out any enemies that happen to be standing there five three it's... one one two three four five one two three one and this looks scary but it takes yeah, forever to get used to doing that because it yeah, just this, looks terrifying. Yeah, this this whole this whole last section of the stage is just like it, it gives me anxiety. Like... Okay, I, I I just got myself. <laughs> I lost track of what I was doing in panic. We're, we're so gonna we're gonna we're gonna attribute that to the input lag for the legacy collection. Yes, uh, it was, that, that was legacy gonna... collection. Yeah. This is Tengu Man. This is the first robot master I defeated in Mega Man 8 when I rented the, the pole PlayStation and this game from Blockbuster. Oh, so the time. one thing, his weakness is Ice Wave. Uh, we need him on the ground in order to actually con connect with it half the time. Like, you can hit him there, which is good, but you want him on the ground so he gets stuck to the ground. Like If he's almost on the ground and you hit him with that Ice Wave, yeah, there you go. Uh, then you get sad because he takes the damage, but he doesn't stand there to get hit by the second shot. Yeah, exactly. And you can see there too, like while he's using those half charge shots in the air to get as much damage in, and like. Yeah. If you're really off. good, and by that I mean if your name is Orsa or Mabel, probably a few other runners up there too. Shoutouts to Eldra. Uh, instead of like using those charge shots at a distance, you actually can get in his face and hit him with the falling part of the ice wave, and that will still do like a bunch of damage. Oh, uh, yeah. But uh, certainly what I was doing, you know, th this is like my speed runs in general, right? I kind of, there, there's a point where I just kind of fall back on doing good enough strats, and that's certainly one of them, but it, you can't tell unless I tell you, right? Ready. Oh, this stage is fun, yeah. I mean, so we're going to open up with uh, the bike here immediately because we want to use it for a lot. But this this second screen is a, like a cutscene. You can't slide or anything else. But the bike still moves at full speed, so why not? So uh, here's some trains. Hopefully we don't see too many of them. <laughs> what a fun, what a fun stage. We have time for a donation or two? Sure. Of course. Excellent. Uh, we have twenty dollars from KLM. Donations coming from inside the run. Uh, KLM oh says gosh. hi. Thanks so much. Thanks and we had another ten dollars from HJA that says, "If you've been searching for a good reason to donate, watch okay. Cab Clown Wiley. Watch him raise his sword and reach for the Astros, as this run is sure to explode like a grenade." Thank you very much to both of you. He did to me what I had done to him. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Handsome Jet. That was beautiful. So the Mega Ball will actually do the same amount of damage whether you kick it or you just kind of plant it into somebody. He's dead. Uh, and it's also worth kind of noting because we haven't mentioned it yet. Uh, there are two angles you can kick the Mega Ball at. If you're holding up when you kick it, it takes a steeper angle. I think it's like, it's probably a difference between a 30 degree shot and a 60 degree shot. Don't it's quote me on that. Significant difference. Yeah. Everyone, everyone, write that down and use it as a future knowledge. So you write down so you have it to blackmail me when I'm wrong about it. <laughs> Mr. Cab told me that it was a difference between 30 and 60 degrees. So uh, we see these these spots now, and you kind of saw them in the first half. The skull ones you fall through, so you kind of want to make sure, especially you know in a setting where you don't want to reset, that you don't get caught over the death pit. Here's Ice Wave being awesome again. That platform yeah. I fell through there, if you're not holding left when you uh, get to it, you just won't fall through it, and you'll, you'll be like, why didn't that work? Yeah. I can see you. There's no reason to climb ladders in this game at all because of the all awesome right, Let's see if I can do this here. can't do a screen. So if you do it right, you can uh, go all the way up in one go. The reference that has the climb before. Yeah. Uh, Very tough. Do it yeah. right, so that's that's your backup. <laughs> Although if you're doing it right, you can uh, basically plan to do that backup from the beginning as sort of the uh, the easy way through. But I went for it. I was actually nailing it last week, and this week I've had no luck. So here's Clown Man. Uh, he has a stun animation that's really long if you hit him while he's on on the swing. In fact, here it is, just just so you can see it. 
and even though you get like some free hits in with him like that, like it's apparently slower, according to people who run this game more than I do, <laughs> than uh, just hitting with half charges the whole time. The right, exception yeah, being, of, of course, if you kill him, there's no stun animation. Yeah, it's one of those weird things that it's just like it looks like it's a lot faster, but then somebody tells you different, and you're just like, that doesn't make any sense to me. And certainly, casually too, like that is that just destroys him, and you don't have to worry about dodging that, playing jump rope, or anything else. You, you just keep using that. Uh, you do want to make sure you connect with the tornado and not the little blade that gets fired out. That's the famous Doctor Why We cutscene. Sorry, we're skipping it. But uh, speed run people. Yeah, the blade itself only does one hit point of damage. The tornado does the damage. This is the duo stage. Duo is that giant robot we found on the ground in the very beginning of the game. Come on, Joe. Just, 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 I'm sorry I forgot to switch the grenade to kill you. Just let me through. Here's Duo, who's here to deal with Dr. Wily. We don't know that yet. Spoiler. So, uh... We just don't want him to play Armored Armadillo, which he's about to do. So every time he does that, you know, it's time. The grenades, I think, don't do any specific large amount of damage. They just do continuous damage. So we can kind of plant one there and then start charging the buster while that explosion keeps dealing damage to hit him with the shot we really want to hit him with. Because charging is very slow. Yes. And if you can see... Uh, Proto Man makes an appearance in this game as well. Uh, pretty much plays the same role as he does in <laughs> pretty much every every Mega Man game he appears in. And he just kind of shows up, says a few lines, and then he disappears. And we may or may yeah, not shows see up him like, later. "Hey, Doctor Wily's here." And Duo's like, "What?" And they go through. Mega Man gets owned by a giant robot. Then Duo saves him. Then they're like, "There's like four energy sources somewhere that are protecting this castle. Good luck, Mega Man." And uh, good luck. Yeah, so you actually have some sort of plot-ish reason to go hunt down the other four robot masters. That I think they used in Baba George all the time. But uh, here we go. We went shopping there because defeating Duo actually unlocks the second half of the shop that has this wonderful hyper slider we got. So now we slide faster. Ready. It's pretty noticeable difference too. Like you can see just how much faster you're sliding now. This is Astro Man stage. Um, I can only imagine like casually like this stage is is pretty difficult because he's, uh, you'll see coming up it's kind of it's almost like a maze kind of thing. But obviously Mr. Cab is a pro speedrunner. He knows exactly the route to go. This is gonna make it look really easy. There is a trick there where you can jump off the ball and go right back up and barely slide under that wall without being crushed, and it saves all the time. It just took me to say that sentence. Yeah, like this stage looks very intimidating if you don't know what you're doing. Um, you got a little bit of like a climbing auto scroller here. Um, which I don't know if there's really much to say about this screen. It's a little trickier than it looks just because there's enough stuff. Like these uh, goo droppers, uh, you can get stuck in the goop if they you, hits you uh, and you step in it. And then you have to fight out of it and then you have to like kind of recover and get back up. You have to deal with the ladders. You have to deal with if a mega ball doesn't. Uh, one thing that can happen with Mega Ball jumping is if you are like close to a ledge and you use the Mega Ball, sometimes you'll Me Mega Man will just plant the ball on the ledge and then just not jump, be able to jump on it because it's not falling into his jump anymore. Uh -huh. And it's just annoying. Hello, Bolt. We're not going shopping again. Sorry. <laughs> look at all, look at all that free money just waving there. See, so yeah, the first screen, I kind of panicked in a couple of spots, so you saw some delays there. That's a strat that I actually just picked up this month, and I'm kind of still working out kinks. Uh, this is terrifying screen. Just, uh, a lot of Mega Ball jumping over these big gaps here. So, like, there, it's very easy to, like, plant the ball on that platform before it disappears. Like, there's just a lot of bad things that can happen on that screen, and I think it was the relay, like, two or three years ago. I just got walled by that screen for a good five minutes, and I felt terrible, and I didn't play the game again for two years. That's a true story. I, I, I remember that, yeah. Um, Thanks for never bringing it up to me. <laughs> yeah, that's All right. Um, you can see you can use Tango Man's uh, weapon there too as uh, utility as well. Um, kind of just raise yourself up in the air, which is pretty cool. 
I always love weapons that have like dual uses on them. I think it's really uh, it makes it a lot more interesting than just like your standard like this weapon shoots fire, this one shoots ice. Yeah. Uh, Tango Man's weapon certainly like when you're playing casually as well and you haven't figured out ball jumping yet, like it is a lifesaver in a lot of situations because it does let you make higher jumps, lets you get into out of the way places. Uh, so this game has two sets of like four robot master weaknesses, uh, but there's two soft weaknesses in the second half, and this is one of them. A like, grenade man, this uh, weapon works on Astro Man, pretty good effectiveness. And since Astro Man likes to hang out at the top of the screen, you can see we're using uh, the Mega Ball jumps to basically uh, get in his face. Well, this is a beautiful pattern. Yeah, basically just saying we're letting you do whatever you want to. Yeah. Which is always uh, a good thing. Astro Man can start like teleporting around the top of the screen, firing asteroids that do a ton of damage at you. Yeah. And it's hard to hit him when he does that. So that was like beautiful. He can be a real pain. Yeah, that was, a, that was some pretty good luck there. Uh, we'll see uh, the, in the refights, they, that fight will look a lot different actually, which is pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, that will happen. So uh, asteroids work on Aquaman. Yes, Aquaman, aka handsome guy. That that's not a joke. Uh, his real name is Aquaman. Ready. We can swim in this game. Wait. DC comics. Are watching. Yeah, this is the first game where you can actually swim, which I, I'm uh, I'm still on the fence whether how like how I feel about that. Honestly, I think it's just it's just it's kind of weird. It's, it's kind of weird, but like I I'm okay with it. I remember like when I first got this game, it was like in the 90s. It was like, oh hey, I can swim now, finally. Uh, the only thing is like if you're this is in the 90s, right? So Mario World and a lot of Super Nintendo art, uh, platforming games like Donkey Kong Country had just came out. Uh, there is no hold up or, or down to like swim faster or slower mechanic there. So uh, it's a little dicey swimming through those spikes. But if you played a lot of Mario 1 and you used to like just, you know, tap the A button at, a, at rhythmically, you'll be fine. All right. Yeah, I think it's the this first and only mechanic. This boss sucks, by the way. <laughs> like, this, this boss is actually awful. What are you doing? Stay on the screen and let me kill you. He's on to your plan. And the ice wave shot is like dropping on him. Pretty much everything does two points of damage. That went on way too long. Good thing Mega Man never forgot how to swim. I know, right, Seiji? Yeah, they, they they just like deprogram that out of him like going forward. They're like, you know, it's a terrible idea. Doctor Light was like, no, let's never do that again. You know, I think I don't like it is because Rush Marine is one of my favorite utilities. And kind of just like, why does he need Rush Marine if he can just swim through it? Well, that was sloppy, but we're through it. Uh, we're going top route here because that's the way I know to go. I think it's faster for some reason. I never actually questioned the route. Uh, we do have these bomb platforms here. You can see I'm hopping on top of them. Yeah, still if that makes it count down faster. Yeah, we've seen them in previous games where um, you have to, they just count down on like a, just like their own timer, but you can actually just hop on them to ex like expedite that process, which is pretty cool. And one, two, three, skip another ladder. That's my favorite thing about this game is you can just skip the ladders because ladders are notoriously the worst part of any Mega Man game or really like any game in general. It's true. Which, you know, it's honestly, it's kind of like ice physics in games where it's like the most realistic thing because it sucks climbing up and down a ladder in real life too. So this is where having access to the buster with a special weapon equipped is really cool. Because uh, they made it so that Aquaman is almost killed by the full screen attack. But if you just work in charge shots between asteroids while he's still stunned, as you can see, he Aquaman doesn't get a chance to do anything in this yeah, fight. Yeah, Poor Aquaman. Perfectly. <laughs> so it's a very kinda... cool mechanic that you can shoot your buster while having a special weapon equipped is definitely helpful. It was, it was, it was all the PlayStation 1 games, because X4 came out, I think, within a year of this game. I don't know which one came first. 
and it had uh, the same mechanic for the re the rest of the X series from four on out. You can charge right. the Buster and have a special weapon equipped at the same time. Sword Speaking of the really X cool. series from four on out, this is Sword Man. <laughs> I really like Sword Man's design. It's really cool. The stage is interesting too. Um, a, lot of, a lot of the later parts of the stage consist of all these like little like stuff you call them puzzles that you have to solve to get through. Um, it's really cool though. It's a really interesting stage. This is one of those stages that you can kind of do uh, because the game knows you have the special weapons. Okay, there's the weapon I want. There's a lot of weapon switching in this one. This one is like the most complicated of the bunch. Yeah. You have and to, make sure you, you hit that switch on the way out. It's possible to just like walk out the teleporter <laughs> without actually hitting the switch. And the game's like, lol, you have to do it again. Yeah, I do like in this stage that you have to use like a variety of your different weapons. It always makes for like an interesting stage. So you can see like he's like, here like the little puzzles you have to solve. I have my air quotes going on in case you guys can't see those. But um, basically you just have to get this uh, little piece locked into the top there to open up the sections, which yeah, I think is pretty cool. Hello? What up? Uh, yeah, these are... You know, there's red, yellow. Okay, yep, that's fine. You see those colors in the background? Uh, we have to hit switches in that order. It is r somewhat random. But yeah, this is kind of a one of the good parts of having two different loops of Robot Masters. Uh, it does allow to be able to say, well, hey, you can't not have this weapon here, so right, yeah. you're going to make me use it. Which is something you usually don't see until the Wily stages of a, of a Mega Man game. I always thought that was a cool uh, a cool switch from the norm to, to have like two sets. I don't know if I first did that in uh, Mega Man 7. So it, it does make it interesting. It, makes it, it gives you a little more versatility with the stages, like you said. You can uh, design them a little more geared towards actually using the weapon. You say the norm, but I mean, I grew up on the Game Boy games, so come on. <laughs> True. Good point. That was the norm. <laughs> so here's another mid boss. I think if you can fire like 32 of your 64 aqua balloons at like a frame, at a rate of like one every other frame, uh, you can take it out in one wave and it looks fantastic. And I'm not a Tass. So we did grenades instead. I think you could also jump up against it and just walk against it and you'll be fine. Um, I don't trust that for a second. So uh, we just waited there. And this ball jump is kind of risky. I have to make sure I get a step in. Ready. Like, it's not that risky, okay. but it's risky enough. I don't know, everything in this game looks a lot harder than it probably is, but it makes for a really cool speed run, that's for sure. If you want to see a uh, real risky, uh, check back screen out where, I where you have to go like underneath it on the sled. Check uh, what Orsa does in the record run on that screen, because he does not use the sled at all. It's all Banka Balls, and you're just like, what just happened? Because it's very hard to kind of keep uh, under the spikes while you're doing that. I'm sorry, those bats are kind of annoying, because if uh, one of them hits you, they tend to kind of catch you and hold you in the air, at which point your lava sled goes out from under you, and then they drop you. And Mega Man doesn't like bats in the lava for some reason. I'll do my I best. mean, I can't blame him. That sounds horrible. But this is Sword Man here. So he has this flaming sword attack that he can do, which uh, will lose you a bunch of time. And basically, the top half of his body just spins off, which he's not doing it here, which is great. Um, it's the reason why you're fighting him on the right side here, because if he does give you that nice attack, sword. it kind of you lose the least amount of time. And you can kill him a lot faster than he can kill you with damage. So um, as long as you have a proper amount of health there, it's a pretty, pretty simple fight. Yeah. That's... You just stay on the short side of the room, uh, which, you know, you open up, it's on the right side. When he goes to the left, get on the left. And that way, at the very least, if he uses that attack, uh, he has less screen to cross to use it. Uh, if he's completely against the wall, I'm pretty sure he doesn't use it at all because there's just not enough room to even try it. So uh, Search Man has awesome music and one more use of the bike. This is the shortest section of the game. Or is it Search Men? Search Men. Two heads there. Better than one. <laughs> <laughs> Wee! 
I guess. Best way. You can actually see the timer uh, for the bike too, right below the health, uh, which is a good indicator of how much you have left. Taking that hit on the spine is fine because uh, you don't want to get picked out of the air by the birds. Yeah, and actually, if, bad. and if you're actually seeing when he's taking the damage here, you can actually see the the timer go down by five seconds, which is pretty cool. I hope you didn't miss the first half of Search Man stage. Oh, well. I know, right? So this is going to be an Ice Wave and Thundercloss showcase for the second half of the stage. I don't know why the Getsmen sometimes just don't want to die. <laughs> yeah, you can just again just see how powerful the Ice Wave is. It's a really cool weapon. Oh, come on, game. What are you even doing in uh, here? The Thunder Wave is another one of those weapons that also doubles as a utility too. Um, which we'll see in certain parts of the run where you can actually use it to kind of grapple across like these hooks that are standing out in some of the stages. Which again, just so this just makes it a lot more in each weapon a lot more interesting. That you can use it to deal damage, but also get a crawler so you can see it there. It's pretty cool. It's almost like the Metroid grapple beam there. Pretty much, it's a grapple beam. <laughs> <laughs> Except I don't think it actually grabs health, but I've never tried. Birds are jerks. Every game ever. Yeah, that ice wave just made that screen just non-existent. Beautiful. Sometimes the ice wave, it feels like like you get enemies caught on like the right pixel, and it just doesn't want to kill them, and it's hey, weird. Come on. Fortunately, we didn't have too much trouble there. I did take enough damage earlier in the stage that I like, feel like I've got to actually be a little careful here. Yeah, he does this gimmick here where three bushes come down, the real one's hiding behind one, there's two fake ones behind the other two, so you have to basically just find which one he's hiding under. But, uh, yeah, really good fight there. Um, so you use Swordman's weapon to make quick work of him. Uh, for the next one. Shouts to melee weapons. Yeah. So now we get to uh, take a quick break here before Wiley, I guess. If you have any donations or if you want to give an update on the donation total, you can go ahead. Sure, thanks. Uh, we have no donations at the moment, but we will give a little update that we are currently at 25... Excuse me, I keep saying this incorrectly. $2,540. Our goal right now is $3,000. Uh, we've had an incredible push during the Mega Man block, so thank you so much to everybody that's participated in any way, shape, or form. It's... Uh, meant so much thanks so much and we have a lot of marathon left to go and a lot of run left to go so let's keep them coming yeah absolutely thank you guys thank you everybody um you know if everybody in chat right now donates five dollars i think that's enough to get to our next goal that's how these usually work this is a reprise of the uh, frostman stage jet sled so and you can see, like, in the instead of the traditional Wily Castle, it looks like he's uh, taken residence in, is it like, a volcano? Well, it's still a castle. It just happens to be located in a volcano. Yeah. This is, like, secret volcano lair. He's uh, taking uh, advice from Dr. Evil for this one. I hate this section. It's like the first Frostman one where it's like, don't die because then you have to do the long auto, auto scroller again. Yeah, you know, the, the low, yeah, basically how it goes, like if you die in an auto scroller in a speed run, you die in real life. Kind of thing. This is the part where I just say, I don't want to deal with this anymore. I'm using some bank of ball jumps and making <laughs> the checkpoint. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I like, you just don't even jump, just use it from such a long distance and it works just fine. That section looks really scary. You hated this level, I don't blame you. I hate this level just watching it. Oh, I, I hate this level from the perspective of like, you know, it's, <laughs> you're all just scrolling, you're just kind of sitting, waiting to miss a jump and be like, ah, that's the first time I've gotten through it on Legacy Collection without a panic. Let's see if I get the early hit. Nice. Uh, nothing spectacular about getting the early hit. It's just a cycle you save. Save some time, yeah. Which yeah. is what we're all about. This boss is really weird. <laughs> I don't know how else to describe yeah. it, but you will use the Mega Ball here to kind of get your hits in, and then uh, when the other pieces fall down, you just kind of take care of them. Yes, I do want to actually clear them out like as fast as possible to get some like extra cycle save, basically. 
Come on, get him. I don't want to lose a cycle. This is where it's important to know, like, the whole, if you hold up, you kick on a steeper angle. Uh, you kind of have to know the angle of your kicks for this fight. Because this is the big Mega Ball fight in the game. Yeah. You kind of show up here and, like, you go through the whole game casually. You, like, never use this Mega Ball. It's this weird item that's in your inventory and you're just kind of like, what the hell is this? And then you get there and you realize that's the only thing that could probably right. even hit this guy. It's so funny because how many people play this casually and never use the Mega Ball because they're like, this weapon is stupid. Why would I ever want to use this thing? Nice. Really that's good. one of the strats I picked up in the last like month or so, so I'm really happy I got that. That's really good. It's yeah. like, what ladder? You know how many goes? That's cool. Oh no, we took damage. And uh, we get about more rush yet. So, uh, you know, let's let's get some helpers and and hope nothing bad happens, right, Kayla? <laughs> cool oh, thing about no. this game too is like you, every weapon has its oh, no. and it's pretty useful. So, oh no, uh, we have Mr. Cap taking a lot of damage here. This, this is this is this is awkward. I, yeah, I, uh, this, I, I I think he's kind of forgotten what this screen what happens on the screen. Yeah. Taking an awful lot of damage. I'm a little worried. It's all right. We got we got a big health drop there. <laughs> Our helpers doing a lot of work here. Yeah, that's right. Make the call. This is the this is the dream team, right? We got Beat. We've got Eddie. Oh no. Mega Man Gradius Edition. It's funny you said that because that's actually uh, the name of Mr. Cap's split for, uh, for this this level, right? That's the Gradius 5, another game I use. I play on my PlayStation 2 now and again. <laughs> now, I'm just gonna make sure everything on the screen dies because those, those worms look like they get hurt. Let's use some of these uh, search missiles too. They seem like fun. You got the traditional auto scroller. Navigate the maze of, of death. Yeah, because... yeah, exactly. Oh look, we got a health drop here. It's like the only way Wait, to we get miss it. Oh no. Uh, Mr. Cab, the the health, Mr. Oh no. It's okay. We death warped. Ready. Well, um, would you look at that? There's like three dragons, and then a lot of screen scrolling that goes by before you get to Bliking. And uh, taking a death there saves like a good 20 seconds for no reason. But then Bliking himself is uh, a giant RNG troll. Yes. So, okay. I, we want to see the big spin pattern. And we're not the big spin it. is when he like rushes forward towards Mega Man. Uh, so, yeah. I, I've got one more meteor to use. Okay, so that's game. Uh, you can hit him with three shots if he does any of the other ones where those front wings open so you can use you can hit him twice once and still have enough to finish the fight otherwise you want to kind of wait for the opportunity to make sure you get both hits in otherwise it gets really annoying if right. killing the uh the back wings doesn't really do anything other than stop him from being able to open the back wings pretty good fight though all right Definitely this is like the actual wild stage. You can tell by the music too. I forgot to mention, yeah, like by like as is like traditional Mega Man game, like the the music in the Wily stages always like gets cranked up, like it's just so good. I'm gonna play this a little safe for a moment here. Uh, you can do some trickery on this screen to speed it up in that little section there. All right, here we go. Party balls too that have been laid yeah, around. Yeah, that's the second time today I've done that exact thing. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, you just don't have a lot of space to fall there before you get spiked. Ready. So, uh, oh well, you get to see, see it again. Yeah, and this time we'll just go the safe way. <laughs> yeah, I forgot to mention about these party balls that are kind of laying around in all the stages too, um, which is. Well, it's kind of weird, but it, I mean, it's good because it'll give you like some health or some weapon refill, um, like halfway or at the end of certain stages or sections. It's really cool, very helpful. Red ones that walk along. So here's the funny thing: like, you see, I'm standing here. There's like nowhere to go. That's the intended way to get through that section. Obviously, in a 
really fast playthrough, we'd uh, just ball jump immediately from that last bomb, but it's worth showing that off. That's also another point where Tengu Man's weapon can save you casually when you just start panicking. You're like, what do I do? Uh, you have to ride the tornado up, but watch out. You'll probably kill the Guts Man, and then you can't get a rock at all, and you have to use the tornado or something. Yeah. So this is base in trouble here. Uh, there we go to Bass from the opening cutscene. <laughs> oh, this game. We love you, Mega Man 8. We really do. So for most of this fight, uh, hopefully anyways, Mr. Cab will use the grenade weapon to just deal a constant flow of damage here. If he does his like, I don't know what, just, like this attack here. <laughs> uh, uh, we're gonna hit him with some meteors during yeah. that. We'll switch to Meteor just to get some damage in, otherwise we would just have to kind of wait it out. So he's being kind of a jerk right now. Yeah. So you can see how you kind of just have to wait, otherwise if he gives you that. Wow, what is this pattern? I've never seen this many lasers. Uh, I'm going to attribute this to the Legacy Collection too. I think they... It's, it's the Legacy Pattern. It's like Jeremy. Yeah. So it gives you more lasers in this version, I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna work in a full charge here, except he's dead. <laughs> uh, if you're playing on 100%, the, the 40 volt category, uh, you will have the hypercharger at this point. That's the only category where you really have that. And then you can make use of full charges from the Buster a lot more and watch that just tear him up. But our charge speed is, you know, that slow default speed, so whatever. Marathon run, let's grab that health. We have enough balls. Uh, there's one up there. Grab the ladder. This game. We're just gonna walk. Just to, yeah. Wait. Just, just take your time. Okay. This section is really scary, yeah. Okay. Okay. Especially taking a death here is just not a good time, so that's, that's I don't blame you. Just to cap it all for you. I do usually do a back boost off that spike on uh, the original version, but. Every yeah. time I try and do like a tight back boost on Legacy Collection 2, that's where like the input that, yeah. actually does strike. The, anyone who's played the original uh, versus this version, or of any of the Mega Man games really, do, you do notice a significant um, input delay. So this this game's version of the uh, classic Yellow Devil enemy. Um, Jello so Devil? The Jello Devil. Love that, yeah. So you use the grenade weapon to kind of open them up, and then um, the Thunder, Thunder, Thunder Claw. Thunder Claw. Cool. Uh, to deal damage. This is what you don't want to see. You don't want to see the waves here. I mean, it's cool looking, but we don't want to see it. Four. Oh no. Oh no. That's also a Legacy Collection exclusive. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen man. that on the PlayStation. <laughs> it's probably not exclusive, but let's just say it is. <laughs> Wait for the jiggle. Now. If you go before the jiggle, the, jiggle. Um, the grenade gets in too far before it cracks the shell, and <laughs> then it actually hits the eye. And the worst thing is, it, like, it does enough hits to force it to move again, but it doesn't do enough damage to save even one hit of the Thunderclaw. So you still have to hit it four times. Yeah. Um, so, that, I mean, that's the best fight you can do with that pattern anyway, so... KLM, question from chat. Is Jello Devil the best hostess snack? <laughs> it might be. Jello Devil Dog? Sounds good. So refights are gonna mostly look the same. Yeah. So let's. Hey, do you think we, we can hit three thousand before this is over? Crazy. We we certainly can. Again, if everybody if everybody you. in chat oh donates God, five dollars right now, here you know what? Here. On that pro, we actually do have a donation if you have time. Yeah, of course. So we did. Uh, Pliskin LD got start, got us started five dollars since KLM asked for a fiver. Worman, thanks very much, Pliskin. Thank you. Thank you. We get Grenade Man next, who is uh, our first robot master of the game. So uh, we have something better than the Buster. His uh, laughter kind of fading there as he realizes he's in over his head. And then, so as we saw in the first fight, he when he got to a low enough health, he broke the floor down. He kind of fell down to the second level there. You can actually finish him on the first level here. Uh, with the proper weapons here. We'll see if we can get this. There you go. Yeah, beautiful. We discovered earlier today that on Legacy Collection 2, if you fall through and he explodes in the air, the health will drop. On the PlayStation 1, it doesn't drop, so it's kind of weird. Very strange. Yo, Geeky! 
Yeah, so uh, almost, like Mr. Cap said, all these fights will be pretty much the same. Um, with the exception of Astro Man, which we'll see when we get there. But yeah, more of the same here. You don't want to uh, get that stun animation while he's swinging. It takes too much time. I'm centered, which is great if I need to be centered. Bomb Man can also go into like a little pattern where he kind of does his own like armored armadillo impression where he rolls around the screen. The thunder Cannibal. Thunder yeah. Cannibal. I don't which know. Don't want to see, which I'm glad we didn't see that there. Kid, you're almost not worth the effort. Just by way of update, K KLM's all backing up what he said. We got a five dollar donation from KLM. Thanks very much. I should have did that earlier when I said it the first time. So. <laughs> <You're welcome. laughs> oh, I did that wrong. I'm gonna make him it's over. Pain. Beautiful. Yeah, he can be kind of a pain and he's just flying around there, but uh, got him to land right there at the end, which is good. We got two ice shots in. That was a lot of damage, like we said earlier. Yeah, I think Ice Wave does like five points of damage to him. And if yeah. you freeze him on the ground, then you're basically getting ten Let's in. Make this a fair That's like fight. literally an entire quarter. Fire Slash, the RNG attack of Doom. Yeah, that's what we were talking about earlier. That's the one you don't want to see. That one costs the most time. If he does it when he when and in the opening of the fight too, there's not like like we said earlier, you want to stand on the short side of the screen to avoid it. Um, so we got another one there. Um, if he does it in the opening of the fight, there's nothing you can do about it because you're already as far away as you know you're gonna be. But not the best pattern there, but yeah. If you're paying attention, you might notice that the uh, capsules are actually in their positions on the stage select. Oh, oh yeah. you. In case you're having trouble remembering which ones are there too. Of course, then you also have to remember where they are on the stage select. I do love this fight just because it does show off that awesome ability to use the buster while having a special weapon equipped. It, it really is really super helpful. Like a lot of the fights do it because, like, Tengu Man also you can like pile on damage, Clown Man you pile on damage, yeah, with uh, the extra sh shots. But I mean, that one is yeah, sort of really cool. obvious that it's doing it. Hit him! Oh, first guess, first try, first try again. Now, if only like when he was going away and like I'm like jumping after him, trying to land it, he's just dodging. So uh, our other different he just, fight. He just wanted. Let's, to let's see what happens. This this fight's really cool, guy. If you haven't seen this before, we're waiting for him to dive, and if he doesn't, we'll just do something else. We've got him in the infinite. See, what's he saying, chat? What do you guys think? I think he's saying, Cab, but that happened. <laughs> I think you're right. He might be saying, had to happen. Can't have happened. Uh, yeah, that, that sounds about right. Had to happen, can't have happened. How did that happen? Cab, that happened. Streiser, that happened. Oh no. So uh, just for our timer's purposes out there, timer time is when the capsule explodes. Not the machine. It's a Mega Man game. You know what's going on. Yeah, as we've seen in the previous uh, Mega Man games, um, we have some version of the Wily machine followed by the capsule fight. Um, here we get the second showing of Proto Man here playing his part. Thanks, Proto Man. The X-Files. That's a sum of the X-Files. <laughs> so, right. Fire Sword and Meteors do lots of damage here. Meteor is really more for, like, making sure you clear out the screen and for dodging that giant thing. But I just like to just spend it all. And once we switch to the Fire Sword here, the damage. You also want to hit the bottom before the cannon shoots, too. Yeah, the cannon doesn't have uh, the iframe advantage that Wily's head does. So just go to work on it. That felt pretty good. That was pretty good. Health is in a good situation. 
So we're going to use grenades. They do two shots each, two points each, so we need 20 grenades. He might appear high, and yes, he'll duck lower, but you can hit him just a little bit faster. Shouts to the Mega Man 7 pattern. <laughs> Yeah, so he's got a few different, I think he's got like four different patterns that he can do. Um, a couple of attacks. You can see there's like the falling attack there where the shots break on the floor. He's got the spiral attack, he's got that homing attack. Which you'll have to kind of dodge twice there to bait the attack. Oh, he's got that spinning Ow. And he spawns all over. Ooh, there's another spinning attack there. That was really hard to dodge, yeah. The rest of them aren't too bad, um, you know, for a bit of practice. But that, that fast spinning attack is really hard to dodge. But you can see using the Mega Ball as well, they hit these high patterns. Which also makes having a quick weapon swap in this game really helpful as well. Yep. Is this PG paste for a Legacy Collection? I don't believe so. Yeah, I think we're gonna miss it by a little bit here. I'm just gonna do this here. On the, the PlayStation 1 version, for whatever reason, there's a Red Cross here, and now there's not. Whatever. Oh, yeah. The, the, the rush net. Okay. So reason number 72 why this rush is the best rush ever. Look at this. That's time. 55. Okay. <laughs> I had to actually, like, find the, uh. <laughs> find the grenades. You saw me, like, cycling through weapons there. Yeah, that, that capsule is pretty tame compared to some of the other ones that uh, we've seen in this yeah. series for sure. Um, but the Rush Medic is really cool there too. He gives you a ton of health and a ton of weapon refill. So. Just need to show off the Medic. I think you get that from Aquaman stage. Like, There's no E-Tanks in this game. You just get that. So uh, yeah. we were late enough in the fight. It's, hey, let's show that off. I don't think this was PV pace because of the, um, the Wily 3 death more than anything else. But uh, whatever. yeah. But otherwise, it was a fantastic run. GG, Mr. K. Yeah, we we got through this without too many major hiccups. You know that that big death. That's your uh, marathon buffer time at the end. That's why we're giving back five minutes now. There's a long anime ending here, and not the good Japanese this music after good. that. So He's been affected by the <laughs> I'm gonna say this is Mega Man Eight, everybody, and I hope you enjoyed it. And stay tuned for the rest of the Mega Man block. I have to apparently give fifty five dollars and five cents now. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Mr. Cab, and thank you, uh, everybody, for for having us. Everyone behind the scenes, all the runners who've donated their time and their runs, and all the commentators and the you know restreamer, everybody, just uh, just Your thank you, everybody. And uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll cut safe. to the next run.